stopping by uh, this restaurant called uh, Arabian Tea House, which is where we're at right now. It's a very famous local Arabic food restaurant. It's highly recommended uh, for you guys. And right next to this place, there's a Iranian village called uh, Al Fahiti, mm -hmm. historical neighborhood. Definitely come and check it out as well. After that, we're gonna planning on taking the speedboat right across the creek, go to the gold and uh, spice souk. So we're gonna be checking out some local Arabic culture uh, spaces and souks. And last but not least, maybe we're gonna end up with um, Dubai Museum. Yeah, uh, it's right right here in the neighborhood as well. Waiting for a table inside the tea house. This is a vibrating thing they gave us. This is one of the three locations in Dubai. Mary felt a little low, needed a pick me up. Mary tried a little go, now she can't get enough. Oh, she don't know why she can't sleep. Open area, it will be so hot, but actually, they have an AC inside, so yeah, it looks like an outdoor area. But make sure when you come here, though, park in the RC parking, it's free, and there are spaces because once you come here near the area, there's literally no space at all. This is my lime and mint, one of their special drinks, tastes pretty good. Hello, hello, how are you doing? Hi. Oh, it's good, how are you, sir? Good. Sambusa, bread, and here is the motabo. Motabo? Yeah. Is it, isn't it just hummus or? Uh, motabo, it's made out of the egg, egg pan base, and okay. the hummus is the one that is based ah. on the chickpeas. Ah, okay, so this is a egg motabo. Egg ah, egg motabo, okay. okay, thank you. So when you go to a restaurant in Dubai, uh, a lot of the restaurants, they, uh, they serve complimentary water. But in Abu Dhabi, every restaurant that we have been to, you have to actually purchase the water there. Lunch. We also uh, ordered a dessert. Uh, this is uh, camel milk ice cream with uh, baklava flavor. It also has some pistachio in it. And uh, baklava is a very famous uh, Turkish dessert. When I go back, I'll buy some camel milk for my mom. El Fahidi Historical Neighborhood, aka Iranian Town, located along the Dubai Creek. This district is a key heritage site with much of the original infrastructure preserved and intact. 
The area was built by the affluent Persian merchants, attracted to Dubai by the rich trade opportunities and incentives offered by the Emirati government in the late 19th century. Where are you living? State? Florida. 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 Yeah. Where are you from? You guess I'm from. Iran? Iran. All my cousins they are living in Miami. Oh, okay, oh. okay. Miami. She was just there last week, I think, yeah. a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, Miami. I still live there. Yes, in Miami, they have big business in Miami. Ah, oh, okay. What do you drop here? Drop, oh, okay. Oh, oh, yeah. The buildings here are now home to a variety of museums, cultural centers, galleries, and restaurants. They are linked by a network of narrow alleyways. Each alley twisting in tap pathway and breezy tower tells the story of a life before the Seven Emirates. is actually right next to Asif. Yeah, I think I like this place uh, better than Asif. Mm -hmm. uh, As Asif is a little bit more commercialized. There's mm -hmm. just like uh, shops all over the place and people trying to stop you uh, <laughs> to get you to buy stuff. And yeah. But this place actually you can just walk through and nobody bothers you. Three decades ago, Dubai was nothing but a fishing town along the creek in harsh desert climate. Now we are gonna take the Abra across the creek. On the other side of the creek lies the city's traditional souks. Dubai is and has been a titan of trade for centuries. What commerce was like back in the days, we'll find out in Spice and Go Souks. Put your best dress on, cause I'm coming over. I'm coming over. I'm driving way too fast. In my hand. It's like it just 30 seconds. In my hand it's clear in my hand side. Baby, I'm All right, are you ready for the souk? Uh, souk basically means marketplace. Make sure you negotiate and bargain and bargain and bargain again and again and again uh, <laughs> because they're gonna hijack up the uh, prices by like tens fold or so yeah bring some cash because uh, they don't usually take cards over here uh, and just have fun you know there there are probably going to be a lot of scams happening over here uh, so you know just be smart with everything the spice souk is a colorful aromatic and sensory experience Discover new flavors and recipes as you explore the traditional spice market in Dubai's heritage area. <laughs> what language are you speaking? I speak uh, Japanese. Hello. How what many is... languages you know? Like uh, five and six. Five and yes. six. Welcome to Spice Market and my shop. My name is Muhammad. I give you a few minutes information for the spice. This is the right lemon and smoked lemons. Maybe you cook, you know, Islamic cooking. You can use this one. This one, Islamic cook, you know. You can smell please. This is the right lemons. You can use for the food, for the beef, vegetable, chicken, and fish. This is also the place to stock up on saffron, as you'll find this delectable spice at a much lower cost here than you would at home. Look, my friend. Yeah. You want a good saffron for your kitchen, or you want saffron for gift? Uh, good saffron, premium. Or, original saffron. Yeah, yes. Okay. 
Look, my friend, saffron is coming from the crocus flower red, okay? Yeah. Which time you like to buy saffron, the first is smelling. How much do you sell per gram? For this quality of one gram, I give you 15 then. 15? Yeah, for this quality. Okay. For the top quality. If, if you know the good saffron, yeah. it's expensive. You know the less quality I have. Like this one, I have 6 dirham. Like this one, I have 10 dirham. Uh, but this one, no, because fresh. Yeah. From this year's. Where do you get it from? From Iran. From Iran. Where is that? Oil for the testing sound saffron. Look. One, two, okay. One, two, okay. Look, my friend. This one, nice change the color, okay. It's red, okay. But this is coming dark, black, you see. 10 grams. 10 grams, okay. No, but the first time you come here, I give you 1 gram 13 for you. 13? Is your premium saffron? Yeah, this is the best one. How much are you selling for one gram? This one gram I give you 10 dirham. 10 dirham. No, some other shop gave us 6 dirhams. 6 okay. dirham I have another quality. No, he gave me the premium for 6 dirhams if I buy 10 grams. Can you make it 6? I have 6 dirham another. No, this one. Premium he gave me. Premium he gave me 6 dirhams. All is not same, bro. Is for you just like big price, you know, not the bargaining order because you already you know the price. 10 dirham by gram this one, it's 10 gram. 10 dirhams? 10 dirham. Gram. Yeah. 10 gram, 100. And this quality by guarantee. Good quality. Use today, if not good, come back, take your money. But I will make for you this one, 80 dirhams. The Gold Souk is one of the most renowned gold jewelry trading centers in the world and featuring glittering displays of necklaces, bracelets, and earrings from more than 300 retailers. In fact, approximately 20% of the world's gold passes through this market. <laughs> so they are not only gold and spice souk, they are also like a utensils, mattress souk, just all different kinds of souk. It's sugar free? It's all sugar. Really? This so where, where, is the, where is the sweet, sweetness coming it's from? It's pretty sweet though. Yeah, it's free sweet. Iranian sweet, all of like this. Yeah? Yeah, this sweet honey, this is not sugar, oh, this honey. honey. Okay. How much? Okay. This one 110, this one 70. Can you sell for 150 together? Together 150? Yeah, hey, brother. Yeah. yeah, it's impossible. It's talking about okay, the possible okay. one. Okay? Talk about the possible one, not impossible one. Is very reasonable, okay? brother. 160 that's price for you. Just for you. 150. Yeah, 160. 150. Go back. 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 Uh, so I think we just finished the souk now, uh, we're going to take the water taxi, which is also called the Abra, uh, to go back to the, uh, the previous station where we got on. So right now we're over here, uh, this part of the town is like the old town of the entire Dubai, it's called Dera, yeah, so just going to go over here, take the water taxi or Abra across the Dubai Creek and go back to this area, which is called the Bird Dubai, is also the old parts of Dubai. Dubai Museum over here. So everything is basically in this area. You can just plan your trip around this area for a day. And you can just park your car at in the LC a... parking mm -hmm. lot. Oh. Yeah, it's free. Yep. Till it's gone, 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 gone. Hey guys, so the museum was not open. So we came to the uh, marina uh, instead to see the night scenes. 
this is a great place uh, if you are just here on visit. Marina is actually one of the nicest places okay. to stay at uh, during your visit. Uh, it's very westernized and uh, you can buy alcohol here. There are liquor stores around. Uh, but do remember though, if you want to purchase alcohol in Dubai, you need to obtain a uh, alcohol license here. But it's very easy, you know, you just apply for it and pay like a couple hundred dirhams of fee. So it's different from the one we went before. That one that's called Creek Harbor. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that one was for the, for the residents at the Creek Harbor basically. Uh, but this one is the Dubai Marina. It's much bigger and the views are much better. Oh my dear, please love or let me go a broken home. It's like great... So you guys can see uh, there are some apartments with the uh, flashing lights. It's not that they are decorating for Christmas or Thanksgiving. It's because the last couple of days were the light festival of India, Diwali. Wow, you feel the breeze? Yeah. yeah it's a perfect place uh, for after dinner walks, you know, jogs. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of families that bring their kids and come out here and play. There's a fun here. Um, there's a bunch of restaurants. Or just chill. Or you just chill, relax sit back and enjoy the wind, the breeze, and the vibe of the modern Dubai. Alright guys, thank you for watching today's video. Please subscribe to my channel. I have more Dubai trip videos. And more expo videos. Bye! Bye